matter how sad I get on this earth, I would never in my life, ever, ever in my life, kill myself. I would never, I would never. If you see this video from years from now, if you whoever watching this video from years and years from now, if I'm alive, I'm alive. If I'm not, I'm not. But I couldn't put my mom, I couldn't put my mom through that. Miss Avery, my mother, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. <laughs> That's gonna trouble the water Waiting in the water Waiting in the water Children waiting That's gonna trouble the water Hey, Matt, Matt, uh, you, you didn't have your medicine at school, so you could take, you know you supposed to, your mother's supposed to have you some medicine at school, since you're an uh, asthmatic patient. So, uh, tell your mama, make sure you got your medicine, and uh, let me know how you doing. Love you. Are you home by yourself? Uh, that guy need, uh, need to, uh, are you in the room or are you downstairs? You need to take your uh, breathing treatment and, and uh, maybe call your mother to take you to the emergency room. All right. Yes? Grandma always kept this. Grandma always kept this on her dresser in the bathroom, on the counter. This is the pump it up spray. I say from the early two thousands, probably even from the nineties. Grandma always kept. She had, grandma had this stuff. Grandma never used it, but she always had this for years. She never threw it away. And she always had it in her bathroom. Grandma never threw this stuff away and. Me being a caregiver, I was a caregiver for my grandma through the last days of her life. Like, I'll say the last couple of months. And this is some of the things that I wanted to keep that's very, I don't want to say useful, but it br brings me closure that grandma will always be with me. Because this, like, I used, to get, I used to get my grandmother up in the morning ready. And this is kind of like grandma deodorant. Like, I would, like, put on her, you know, stuff like that. So I just wanted to keep this because it's like I, I hold it close to me, you know. And this is Grandma perfume. I will always spray on her every morning. Grandma always told me to um to get this, open it up. I will open it up and I will spray, spray it on her. So this is kind of like the stuff I wanted to keep. And this is like when I would get Grandma ready for a bath or take a wash off, grandma would always put this shirt on, like a little night shirt. So I will always hold this stuff dear to me. It's memories of every morning having to, you know, get her up and she be like, where the toothpaste at? Here's the toothpaste. This is the day that my grandma died. So the night grandma died, we all spent the night in her room. And this is what happened. You know, we was planning to sleep in grandma's room days before she passed away. So the day that she passed away, 
we didn't want to, um, you know, we didn't want to not sleep in her room because we was been planning to sleep in her room. So that night, we slept in her room, and this is what happened. <laughs> Yo. So, um, Grandma passed away yesterday, right? So it's like three, four o'clock in the morning. I say about twelve hours. Oh, that's, that's music. Wait, wait, wait. So it's been about twelve hours since Grandma has passed away. And excuse my hair, excuse my face. I'm ugly right now. I've been crying all day. Like, yeah, we grieving right now. So it's like four o'clock in the morning. We heard stuff moving. We heard like a lot of stuff. So we finna go back in Grandma's room because we gotta get my pillow. I want some cookies out the at the kitchen. And Cornisha is feeling sick, and they scared. They scared. And I cannot go back to sleep. It is um, it is three o'clock in the morning. Girl, I don't see foot shadows and shit by the door. You guys, today is my first day back at Grandma House since she passed away. Um, when I yeah, since she passed away, it's my first time being back over here from being from college. I spent the weekend here. Back in her room, back in her chair that she used to always sit in. Mm. Grandma Ward is to my grandmother's funeral. My dad, on my dad's side, my grandma passed away in 2013. Grandma had is and I got it for my acting skits. So if you see this in my acting skits, you know. That my grandma. This came from my grandma. This was Thanksgiving 2020. Um, this was grandma last Thanksgiving. So we kind of spent it together as a family. I cooked for her. Hands. You don't know where you've been 
So, today is one month since my grandma passed away and it's currently 2 a.m. to about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Oh, it's 3.30. So it's 3.30 in the morning and I'm trying to sleep, but I can't sleep. You know, I'm doing everything I can. I took pills and everything, sleeping pills. And I, you know, Benadryl, too. Still can't sleep. I, I don't know why, but it's like I'm taking it so hard. You know, I'm taking it so hard. I don't know why. I feel like this is real. This is this is real. This is my life now. This is life without grandma. This is real. My grandma left me. And when I say my grandma left me, that's all I could say. When my grandma died, that's all I could say. When she left me, I felt her presence leave. I felt it when she left. That's all I could say. She left me. That's 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 the only reason I can explain. I don't want to say she passed away. I don't want to say she died. My grandma left me. I felt when she left. I like I felt when she left. It's crazy. It's crazy. I felt when she left, and that's all I can say. Is my grandma left me? That's all I can think about each night before I go to bed. Since my grandma passed away, that's all I think about. I promise you now, that's not a day that I don't think about my grandma. That's, this is a different hurt. I lost my grandfather in 2014. Then I lost my grandma, other grandma on my dad's side in 2013. But this is my mother's mom. This is someone who I spent most of my time with. And this person is no longer here. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um. Um. Look into my eyes, you guys. I have nobody to talk to. I have nobody. I'm just here. I have nobody to talk to. That's how I feel. I just don't have nobody. <laughs> and a month since I had, li not liquor, but since I had like wine or something. I drink wine a lot. I do. I'm not afraid to admit. I love, I'm a wine head. Everybody has a problem. And I love wine. It's like, I love, I like to drink it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no crying. Sit there, relax. I could just be calm. I'm not worrying about nothing. I'm just chilling with my wife, sip on it, watch a TV show, mind my business. And I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I don't need wine to live, but I'm saying that's what I that's that's what I've been doing to keep me calm and to keep me relaxed. Either it's that or it's suicide. But no matter how sad I get on this earth, I would never in my life, ever, ever in my life, kill myself. I would never. I would never. If you see this video from years from now, if you whoever watching this video from years and years from now, if I'm alive, I'm alive. If I'm not, I'm not. But I couldn't put my mom I couldn't put my mom through that. Miss Avery, my mother. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Heavy. Oh, no, I couldn't hold it.
Well, this here ain't time. So they're gonna talk right now. So, hey, my auntie, my uncle. It hurts. Are you gonna be off the bike? Hey, my uncle. 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 Yeah, I got it. I got everything that's in the room, boy. You ain't got to worry about that. But you got to use the bathroom. What you said, my wife? You got to call the crazy. I know. Are you ready?